Tuscaloosa area schools dismissed students early today ahead of the snow along with numerous school districts statewide. Tuscaloosa students have missed several days and what are the options for making up those days? WVA's Chelsea Barton joins us live from the newsroom with more. Chelsea. Lynn, Senate Bill 271 provides local schools with options on how to deal with days lost due to extreme circumstances. One, you could use the extra minutes that you find at the end of the six hours that are required by law and factor those in to make up that missed time. Or option two says that any time the governor of the state of Alabama declares a state of emergency, then school systems can request that waiver from making up those days. So in the case of the weather emergency that we had at the end of January, the one that we had last week, and this one, a state of emergency has been declared, and that would be an option um, at hand for local school superintendents to determine. Leslie Bruinton with the Tuscaloosa City School System says the system is working with the city of Tuscaloosa to make decisions to dismiss schools based on the best guidance from weather forecasters. It has caused for parents to have to adjust their schedules. Um, we appreciate that. We know that there is difficulty in doing that, but we're making these decisions to ensure the safety of our students and our employees. Parents I spoke with today as schools were dismissing say despite the inconvenience, they're pleased the school systems are playing on the safe side. Um, I think everybody's a little jumpy after what happened <laughs> two weeks ago, so I'd rather them be safe than sorry. I mean, no one wants any accidents to happen and so I mean it, it's good to err on the side of, of being too cautious. Um, on the other hand I know a lot of people it's a major inconvenience. I think it's better safe than sorry and I think it was the smartest thing he could have did the way he did it because you know only God control the weather.